Hello everyone, my name is Ian. You're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today I've got something quite a bit different from what I normally do. So many of you reach out to me all the time, you know, asking about what motorcycle to get or what motorcycle has a low seat height or what should I be looking at or you're doing your research. Um, the other thing that happens when you're researching motorcycles is that, and let me know if this sounds familiar, you're trying to look up the specs for a motorcycle, but there's no consistent database to look these things up. So you might find a news article that someone did on a press intro review and it has some specs, but it doesn't have what you want. And then what if you want to compare that to another bike? So let's say for example, um, which has a shorter seat height, a Aprilia Touareg 660 or a BMW FA50 GS? I don't know. So there's really no easy way to find that. So what I have done is I've compiled all the important relevant specifications for all the brand new adventure in dual sport motorcycles currently on sale in the USA. Now, a couple things. I'm in the USA, so if there's models that we don't get here, I just don't have that on the list, and I'm sorry about that. Another thing is that I know a lot of you are gonna go right down to the description and just start downloading these files now or looking at the specs, and that's fine. And I can't prevent that, but there's a few things that I would ask in return for getting this information. And there's really no strings with this. I'm not, you're not having to sign up for an email newsletter or give me your information. No, I don't do that kind of thing. Uh, but here's what I ask from all of you, if you find this useful. Um, support Big Rock Moto in whatever way you can, whether that's becoming a Patreon, whether that's buying some merchandise. Most importantly and most easily, shop at Revzilla and shop at Rocky Mountain using my links in my video descriptions and on my YouTube homepage. Those give me a small commission on anything you buy after clicking that link for two weeks. So every two weeks, click that, or when you're gonna buy, click and use my link. But that really, really is a huge way to make what I'm doing here financially sustainable so I can keep doing it. I'm not getting rich doing that, doing this, and I don't expect to. But again, those are ways you can support the channel. Now, with that out of the way, let me kind of show you these specs, what I've done here, and show you how you can easily download them in three different formats. So here are the specs up here on the screen. I know they're kind of small. I'm not expecting you to really read that in detail, but you'll, there's a few things I want to point out. So I've got it organized here uh, by the class of bike. So I've got uh, bikes classified either as a dual sport bike, a full size adventure bike, a mid-size adventure bike, or a small adventure bike. So that's also useful as so you can see how these bikes are classified. And that's my own kind of system that I made up, but I, I believe in it. I think it's pretty accurate. And then you've got the make and model. And then I'm not gonna go and list through all these because that would be super boring and all of you would unsubscribe immediately and dislike the video. But I've got everything here from you know the pricing, uh, the engine configuration, the, the weights. And I'm also using all systems or both systems of measurement. So I've got the metric system and the stuff here we use in the US. So I've got pounds and kilograms, I've got gallons and liters, things like that. So you don't have to do the conversions. I've got ground clearance, suspension travel, seat height, fuel capacity, uh, estimated mileage, estimated range, horsepower, power to weight ratio, which is a calculation here, suspension rake angle, wheelbase, uh, the wheel sizes, all this stuff is here for you. Now, I plan to update this probably either once per year or maybe twice per year, and I will redo the files so that these links will still be valid in this video description. So if you're watching this video, um, Later on, I'm filming this in January of 2022. If you're watching this later, hopefully these links will still be good. I'll keep them updated if I update the files. So please let me know if this is useful. If something else might be useful, give me ideas for future videos, for future kind of tools like this. I really appreciate it. I am working on a website, but it just hasn't been a huge priority in terms of building this business, but that will be coming in 2022, so I'm doing that. Again, please don't use this for any commercial purposes. If you do, uh, I don't know what to say. You're just a bad person if you do that, um, but I can't really prevent it. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, support the channel, support what I'm doing here by all the ways I talked about, which are in the description below. Otherwise, I hope this is useful. Please ride safe and we'll see you out there.